Here are five things I want you to know about the Kinship Self-Reflect Sunscreen, the sport sunscreen SPF 60, before you buy it. Watch this. Hi, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Bright Creator of The Style Shaker. It's a guide to greener, cleaner beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try these products out for you, share my honest reviews, also you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. These are the five things I'm gonna run through today. They all ladder back to my scorecard, which is the foundation of everything over here. I've reviewed over 600 products on this channel. This, I think, is my 540-something scorecard post back on the website. Links to everything that I mentioned will be below. Tested this for 14 days. If you like honest reviews like this one and you wanna keep seeing more of them, don't forget to take two seconds, hit the like button. It really is a small thing that you can do that makes a huge difference over here. So thank you for that. All right, let's dive into the first question. All about ingredients. I am not a cosmetic chemist or a dermatologist, read the disclaimer, but I'm gonna give you a high level overview here so you have a sense of what's going on. Details and links and all the rest of it can be found back on my website. At the top of the list, if you cannot tolerate coconut oil or coconut oil derivatives, your skin's just not into it, then this is going to be a pass. There are quite a few ingredients in here that have derivatives from coconut oil. So moving on to the next ingredient that I want to talk about here. This is a really interesting product because it also is a multitasker. I Sometimes I like multitaskers, sometimes I don't, but it's not really about what I like. There are ceramides in here, lots of moisturizing ingredients in here. So if you're going to use an SPF, one of the top questions out there is, do I apply moisturizer before or after an SPF? There's lots of different information out there. You don't even have to worry about that if you're using this. So there is moisturizer built in. Ceramides are really great for protecting and restoring the skin barrier. I love ceramides, huge fan personally. This is a mineral sunscreen, 24% zinc oxide. I personally like to see numbers when I look at zinc and things like that. I like to see it above 20%. That's just me. And finally, phenoxyethanol is in here. It is a preservative. I do not find it to be a deal breaker for myself, but for some people who are cleaning up their routine, it's a no-no. It's at the very end of the list. Percentage is gonna be low, but still, if that's a deal breaker, you're gonna to wanna to pass. Next up, we're gonna talk about how this applies on the skin. This SPF is very silky, very smooth, very lightweight. I would normally say a little bit of this goes a long way, but when it comes to SPF, you do not want to skimp. You want to provide a solid base on the face, a good amount. And that got a little slick for me, but it's also because I prepped with a moisturizer and oil. Most days I do that because I use a gua sha tool and a facial massage before I put on my makeup. So I'm still personally trying to figure out what to do. I'm probably gonna keep using oil, but like how do I use this with the oil? I don't know. If you are a lazy skincare person, I'm not judging. I tend to be that way too. So I've gotten worse, but if you're like that, then this could be a winner for you because you don't even have to worry about it. White cast, stuff like that. I did see a white cast. The brand recommends a process of, of applying that's very simple. Notes are back on the site. It didn't read as much on camera as I saw in real life. There's this sheen and opalescence to it. It's supposed to be a glowy, hydrating SPF that is also water resistant. You do need to massage it into the skin to get rid of that white cast. And I feel like a little bit of that was left over, just a little bit. And the amount that's left evened out the skin, plus the glow is sort of that illusion of evening out. At first I gave it a four out of five, but then I knocked it down to a three out of five because of that extra kind of coverage that it provides, which you may or may not want. And when I say coverage, I mean white cast and like opal glow. Thing. Let's talk about scent. Very subtle, slightly sweet with a vanilla kind of extract in here. Five out of five. Loved it. Did not find it to be overpowering at all. Finish. So the claim here, a quick claim check, it's supposed to provide dewy, bouncy, healthy skin. Let's just stick to dewy because the other ones are purely fluffy marketing claims, which drive me nuts. But dewy skin, if you are not into dewy, you might really not like this. You might want a more middle of the road SPF option. This is dewy. Skin did not look oily. It gave more of that glow. So I think it followed through on the glowy claim. The touch test, you could still feel it. There was no tackiness, but I could still kind of feel it on the skin within the first few minutes and I will talk about wear tests in a second. This could be a really nice base moisturizing SPF that adds a little bit of life to the skin and then you can apply something a bit more matte on top. That is a combination I have done in the past and really, really liked. Just throwing it out there. Overall for finish, I gave it a four out of five on the scorecard. 
And now we're gonna talk about wear tests, which you would think is weird because with an SPF, you apply every two hours. So it's a different kind of wear test. I did go out into the sun a couple of times with this direct sun, which I don't do often, sadly. More, I'm doing it more. I'm doing more of my walks, but it held up for me. I felt confident that I could go back out there and not have burning, especially on the high points of my face. I didn't see pink, I didn't see redness. And again, I was really out in the sun doing it, living my best life. So I found this to be effective for my skin. And when I wore it and wasn't out in the sun, which are still exposed through windows and blue light and all the rest of it, I have a wear test that I wanna share with you. This is after a few hours and you will see that it actually held up pretty nicely. Here we go. Let's end of day wear test for, well, it's not really end of day, but before I would reapply the Kinship SPF in SPF 60, so it's looking pretty good. Blue is really wanting me to feed her. Blue is my cat, for those of you who do not know. Pretty good, I'm standing next to the window so you can get some natural light here. Let's get a close up. Earlier I thought it was looking kind of ruddy, but now I'm changing my mind. So pretty much deciding on the fly. It felt like there was more on my face but I also did add a little bit more kabuki brush, buffing it out, which you don't wanna do with SPF, right? So I'll talk about that more in the full review, but I needed to do that because it was looking a little too slick. Still, I think that might've been a bit more because of prep than this formula. I had moisturizer and oil, did not need those because this is a multitasker. So considering all that, it's looking pretty good. Okay, back to the review. So yeah, at first I thought it was kind of getting ready, but the other thing is application is kind of key here. My score for wear test is a three out of five. Again, I almost gave it a four. I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm on the fence on that one, so I'm just gonna go with a three right now. Which brings me to the total score of 15 out of 20. Now it's time for the final verdict. Will this make Brit's picks? My list of favorites, all in one spot back on the site. This was a tricky one for me. I need more time because I haven't still figured out the application that I like for this product. I don't find it to be fussy. I love that there's moisturizer in it. Love ceramides being in there. It's 50% post-consumer recycling. That's fine, I always want better, I want refills available. Reef safe, it's ticking a lot of boxes. And I do really like the glow, but for the amount that I want to apply to have it be effective as a sunscreen, it really is going to look high dewy, high glowy for me. And I'm not quite sure that that is what I am currently gonna be reaching for. For now though, it's not on Brit's picks, I'm watching it and using it, and we'll see, time will tell. That's what I think. That's what the scorecard says. I wanna know what you think about this Kinship SPF. Share your comments below and thank you for doing that. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like I mentioned, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another review and I'll see you right back here real soon for another honest review. Until then, bye.